Amazon is pushing for a new bill in California that could affect all resellers online. Hey, it's Don. Today I wanted to talk about a lawsuit and a new law that Amazon has added to and is pushing for that could drastically hurt other platforms such as eBay, Etsy, McCrary, Poshmark, Craigslist, pretty much any of the other sites besides Amazon. Let's hop over and look at some news articles right this minute that discusses these issues in clearer detail. So this one here is from CNBC. It doesn't matter the site. It's on many of them. I have another one from Business Insider that talks about the same thing. This is something Etsy had announced just the other day, a few days ago. Etsy CEO says Amazon is trying to wipe out its competitors by backing California consumer protection protection bill. Amazon pushes that they don't sell, manufacture, do anything with the items that are sold on their platform. They push it off onto people like us and say it's our fault no matter what happens with an issue or somebody gets hurt from something you sell. Another reason why a BOP is very helpful because it will help you in some cases with issues like this. Over this last case with Amazon, they actually lost and it's deemed that they are responsible because it was sold through their platform. So that's why this comes into play. Now, there's a law in California called AB 3262, which is basically a basic consumer protection bill against online resellers, online marketplaces, and the whole works. That would be us, whether we're on a platform or not. It does affect any reseller that sells on those platforms. Now, up until now, most sites like eBay, Etsy, Craigslist, I'm sure McCrary, Poshmark, aren't considered a selling vendor like Amazon is because a lot of the stuff is auction items or other aspects, handmade, things that aren't really in certain realms of it. So they've been exempt all of this time due to the model of their their site. Now this also exempted people that ran sites that only profited from advertisements. So all those folks were exempt. Now let me slide down and show you an important part of this article. Now on last Friday, Amazon posted a blog on their own blog post saying they would be behind this bill, AB3262, if it did every single online platform and not just specifics. So basically, Amazon saying they will help get this bill passed if they include all of its competitors, basically. And then mysteriously, the following Monday, the bill was altered right after Amazon's blog post to state and include every platform on the planet, basically. eBay is against this. They have petitioned against this. Etsy has petitioned against this, as well as many other online platforms from what I can see in the news articles that I have read. So this is something that will hurt eBay. This is something that will hurt Etsy. This is something that will hurt McCrary, Poshmark, any other platform that sells anything, including advertising from their platform site. So this is a broad-ranging new law that Amazon is going to be okay with as long as it hurts everybody else as well. That's the gist on what this is. Now, Etsy CEO has come out and made a statement about this. Amazon is taking bold steps to wipe out its competitors by promoting complex, hard to comply with legislation that only they can afford to absorb. Amazon's goals is to be the only place to buy stuff online, hobbling mom and pops that sell unique items in their own shops or more frequently since COVID through marketplaces like Etsy. I'm sure that's marketplaces like eBay, Etsy, and all of the works. Small businesses struggling now more than ever will ultimately bear the brunt of the overbearing burdens of AB 3262. If this law is passed in California, which is one of the biggest states and has more people than many other states combined, it will more or less be a law across the entire land. That's why this is important. Now, why would this matter to someone like us selling? This would open up eBay, Etsy, or any of these other platforms to multiple million dollar lawsuits at the whim of someone saying there's an issue with something they bought from the site. Now, in many cases, we are responsible if something we sell hurts somebody. That's just the rules of the game as they are right now. Amazon losing this one is now putting the burden back on everybody else, including themselves. Now, Bezos made a statement also at the end of some of the conversations. He was in Congress just the other day speaking about some of these issues on counterfeits, 
on their marketplace in a hearing in July. Now, Jeff Bezos said Amazon thoroughly vets sellers on its marketplace and called for Congress to pass tougher laws targeting counterfeiters. Now, it doesn't say they are doing tough work to stop the counterfeiters. Now, you could probably go to Amazon right now and find a counterfeit good very readily. That would be my opinion on, on what I've seen in the past. There are tons of sellers that show up on there, many of them for other countries that Amazon fully lets onto the platform. So if they're vetting them, it's kind of hard to believe that that would be the case based on overseas sellers selling a lot of the counterfeit goods. Now, the battery in question, the laptop battery that started this whole thing, there's no comments on whether it's a real one, a counterfeit or not. So we don't know if that even plays into it. But that's mentioned in this article as being some sort of an issue related to this whole aspect. Now, this is making its way across the news. As you see, here's Business Insider basically doing the same thing. Etsy is saying this is the case eBay's coming out against this. I'm sure every other platform but Amazon will be against this. Amazon is breaking from the chain, breaking from all other reselling platforms to acknowledge that, yeah, they'll be okay with this law. Again, they are the only ones that can afford it. Amazon has made record profits during the pandemic. They are pretty much branching out. They're trying to take over the grocery market. They're trying to take over the clothing market. They're trying to take over the toy market, everything else on the planet. It's getting to be up to a point where if there was a monopoly on the planet, Amazon's going to be the monopoly. That's my take on it. Again, my personal opinion on what is going on, as is this conversation here today. You can look into this yourself. It doesn't take much. Just type in Etsy CEO and Amazon, and you're going to see articles everywhere talking about this specifically. Now, there's been other lawsuits or other accusations against Amazon many times in the past. Here's one where eBay is suing Amazon over alleged scheme to steal its top sellers. You know, it has been going on to some extent. I can't say Amazon has been orchestrating anything, but Amazon is doing things that uh, do draw people to the platform, the ability to get more money uh, for your items that you sell. The fee structure is different. It's much cheaper to sell, at least to initially get your items in front of people on Amazon than it is on most other platforms, just due to the individual cost per listing on other platforms. Now, Etsy has other issues with it as well, because Amazon did open a homemade by Amazon. I have an account with that as well, trying to rival Etsy in general, trying to hit off any aspect of its competitors is what it appears to, to me at least, and to Etsy and other, other businesses such as eBay. Again, eBay has an issue with how you know Amazon has been doing some of its practices. Amazon does have a collectible section, a vintage section, a used vintage item section in general, which we are ungated to sell on. So they do rival other platforms. If Amazon pretty much sells everything and puts up uh, approval of laws that could hurt all of its competitors, that does seem to be a little suspicious in my book. Now, again, this came about because Amazon lost the legal battle. That's what seems to have brought this on over that battery. So in their minds, it seems to me that since they lost it, everybody else should have to suffer if they have to suffer over something related to their own site. That's my take on it. Now, you may be thinking, how is this really going to hurt us? Well, let's look back at some of the cases that have been going on in the past. In 2016, a child was strangulated from something bought on Etsy. Now, this parent, apparently, who bought it, gave it to the parent of the child who passed away over this. So, Amazon, Etsy, all these other platforms have a basically a policy that says you can't hold them liable when you buy or do something. Problem with this case is that the mother of the child who passed away didn't buy this item and never acknowledged any acceptance of Etsy's policy. It was the other parents who bought it, the other person who bought it who gave it to this parent. So there's a iffiness to what's going on, who's liable. You know, it, it's really a, a up in the air case. This is just one example of a case like this. Why this comes down to possibly hurting us, this is going to cost Etsy millions of dollars, millions and millions of dollars potentially, or any other site when some of these lawsuits come on. Where do you think they're going to recoup that cost from? Now, most sites, smaller sites compared to Amazon, like Etsy, eBay, Poshmark, Recreary, will probably pass those on to us in increased fees to cover their losses. It could potentially cost all of these companies multi-million dollars every single year that their business is opened. It's, it's just something that could happen. Lawsuits won't stop once they are available. Once somebody realizes that they can get a ton of money from suing a site for something they buy on there, I could see a 
groundswelling of a ton of new lawsuits against all of these platforms. And once that happens, they're going to want to recoup that massive amount of cost. They're not going to be able to spend billions of dollars buying back stocks just to inflate their own pocketbook. They're going to have to spend some of that money and set it aside to cover lawsuits, potential lawsuits. Now, this doesn't mean that they can't still sue the seller. It just means that now the platforms will be possibly liable for all this if this law passes. And as I said, it does appear that Amazon is okay with this by what I personally read in my opinion, as long as it does target all the other platforms as well. Now, Amazon is more unique than, say, eBay, because 40% of the items on Amazon are their own items, and that number keeps growing from what I see. 60% of items sold on Amazon are sold by people like us or other businesses that use it as a third-party platform. Now, obviously, this could hurt everybody else, but Amazon is so huge. They make so much money. Jeff Bezos is probably the richest man in the world because of the pandemic alone. So, you know, they can afford to do this any day of the week. It's no big deal for Amazon. But everybody else, it is a huge factor that could pretty much detrimentally hinder Etsy's growth or Poshmark's growth or McCrary's growth or many other platforms in general. Craigslist, if you sell on Craigslist, this will include Craigslist as well. So this is something that you really need to pay attention to. If you're in California, send something to your lawmakers to tell them that you're not okay with this. You don't agree with this. This could hurt everybody, in all honesty, who's not just an Amazon seller. Now, most people who are watching this video or pretty much most reselling videos here on YouTube mostly sell on eBay or Etsy or some of these other platforms. So pay attention to this. Follow this. This is seriously important. This could have detrimental impact on many people's businesses if some of these fees are now passed back along to us if this does pass. Again, eBay is against this. Etsy is clearly against this as well. So anybody selling on those platforms has a big stake in this. But that's what I have for you today. Well, there you are. Hopefully that gave you some ideas and some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Breakfast for us. Fruit flavor, colorful bite, rainbow bright.